Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video going over how to take a aero cap off of your Tesla and then replace it with a different one. So what I recommend doing is putting some safety gloves on your hands and something that has a little grip on it will help you get good traction when you're pulling off the aero cap, but also it'll protect your fingers because there can be some sharp plastic edges along these and you need to use a bit of force to take these off. So the gloves should protect your hand and make it so that you don't get as many scratches or scars. So what you want to do is find a couple of openings in the aero cap and bend down closer to the ground so that you can get some good leverage. And once you have your hands in a couple of holes, what you're going to do is do a quick forceful move backwards towards yourself. And sometimes it might only take maybe one or two of the clips off, but if you give it enough force, it can pop the entire thing off. And if we see on the back, these are the kind of clips that we have on this one and they go around this particular rim here, but I'm gonna be putting the OEM Gemini's back on. So I'll show you what that looks like. So with the aero cap off, this is also a good time to clean off your rims if you want to do that. This is the Gemini aero cap that comes with your Tesla vehicle. Put the aero cap on just lining up the center with the center of the tire. And this is actually pretty easy because we have a little cutout right here that goes where the air valve is. So as long as we line that up, we should be good to go. You can kind of feel where it should be. And at this point with it lined up, you can smash your fist into it and kind of just to make sure you go around the outside, get it nice and secure, make sure all the clips are secured down. And that's the end of the process. And of course, it's gonna be the same for all four tires. So a pretty simple video today going over how you can change the aero caps on the tire of your Tesla vehicle. I definitely recommend wearing some safety gloves so that you don't damage your hands. You need quite a bit of force to take these off, but having those gloves on should help protect your fingers and your hands.